Four Flight started back in 2007. Uh, I had a web project that I was working on at the time. It was uh, a web project to simplify the way that pilots got weather. And uh, my partner, Jason Miller, had a product for the desktop called Four Flight as well. And we met over the internet, and we decided it would be uh, interesting to integrate our two projects together. So that was really the, the beginning of the company. We ultimately set out to build a better uh, airport information site. Uh, when the iPhone was announced, though, in 2007, we saw that as a, as a tremendous opportunity to build software for a new platform. And we started the company really as a, as a hobby project. So, so there wasn't a grand plan. There was just an interest to do something that uh, helped pilots out. Then the iPad came along, and that really transformed the business. We went from a hobby business uh, with uh, three of us to over 30 people today. And uh, I would say that today we have a much uh, grander plan uh, knowing how this has transformed the industry. Uh, so it's much less of, a, of an evolution, and now it's a more methodical approach to, to uh, serving, the, serving pilots that are using this platform uh, in their daily operations. So today, Four Flight is a, is a pilot-led company. Uh, over the years, we've really built out uh, both the functional areas of the organization, including sales and marketing and product management, as well as the engineering organization. So at the top of the company today, uh, I'm the CEO. And then we have uh, a number of folks that lead functional areas. We have a, a director of sales, Stanley Henson. We have a director of marketing, Angela Anderson, who came to a, the company from Aspen Avionics. Uh, Jason Miller and Adam Houghton run our engineering team. And uh, Brian Clark, who I worked with in a previous startup, uh, is our director of finance and operations. On the engineering team, most of the iOS engineers are pilots. So that really helps us, uh, one, we uh, understand the domain and uh, be very efficient at how we build applications for, for pilots. So uh, throughout the company, including the entire pilot support team, there is a large contingency of pilots, or at least aviation enthusiasts. And uh, that really allows us to build uh, a fine product for, for pilots. So I think, I think one of the things that's um, unique about running an aviation product company is pilots are tremendously passionate and romantic about both flying and their connection to the products that they use. So there's a deep connection between not only pilots themselves, uh, but the products that they use. So uh, it's important for us as an aviation company to connect with them in ways uh, and recognize that uh, there is that deep connection. Uh, so, so in addition to that, pilots have tremendous expectations about the products that they use. They expect them to be reliable uh, in aviation. They expect them to evolve quickly. So uh, our thinking and the way that we operate is really pilot focused. And being out in the airplane and uh, amongst customers, uh, whether it's air shows or fly-ins, uh, really helps us um, hone in on, on what they need. But in aviation, you have to be extremely close to your customers. Uh, these tools are an important part of, of every flight. So they have tremendous expectations for, for their performance. So we have to be extremely focused on making everything that we do um, stand up to the, the standards that pilots have. Four Flight is very delivery focused. Uh, we ship is, is a motto. And we do that frequently. And we, and we do that because we think not only is it something customers want, they like getting new functionality, but it's also a way to control quality. Um, by releasing more frequently, uh, and you see that Four Flight puts out updates you know, every six to eight weeks, uh, we're able to ensure that uh, functionality gets wrapped up, QA'd, and into market. Uh, because as features take longer time to develop, uh, they end up uh, growing, uh, expanding scope and uh, becoming much larger projects. So we break things out into small pieces and we ship frequently. W one of my favorite features last year was the pattern entry advisor. It's something that uh, you know, isn't, isn't uh, as obvious as maybe it should be, but the ability to have the app tell you how to enter a pattern, whether that's a teardrop or direct entry, uh, is a unique feature, especially if you happen to be flying VFR 
and uh, you've got an airport that's tucked between the trees. It can give you a bearing to the 45. And that was always a challenge for me as a, as, a, as a new VFR pilot, is actually seeing the airport. So the fact that you can just dial that in and have the app tell you how to get to it and actually how to fly it is an interesting uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's just a fantastic feature. What surprised me the most about the iPad in aviation is the rapid adoption, not only in general aviation, but other segments as well. It's, only, it's 2014, so we're really four years into the iPad, and it's, uh, it's typical that any pilot you run into is using an iPad and using an app. And that's uh, search and rescue, that's uh, electronic flight bags in the military, like the US Coast Guard, that's electronic flight bags in commercial. Uh, but this transition from a papered world to a paperless world has happened a lot faster than I anticipated. And I expect in the next year or two, uh, some of the big charting providers and maybe even the government will stop printing paper. There's a, there's a saying we have in the company, which is there is no easy feature. And uh, pilots will write into us frequently and say, uh, why don't you do this? It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but we always fall back on there is no easy feature, especially if you want that feature to be polished, refined, and reflect both the aesthetic and the user experience that you want. So we spend a lot of time making sure that the feature is right, uh, and that is the way it looks, the way it feels, and ensuring that it's stable and performant. So that there's no easy feature is something I wish more pilots understood. I still think uh, ADS-B receivers are probably one of the hottest trends in aviation. Uh, with the Stratus 1, we had expectations about the performance of that product. Uh, we released Stratus 2, and it exceeded our, uh, our wildest expectations. And we don't see that trend um, uh, abating uh, anytime soon. So the fact that pilots can, for $900, get subscription-free weather uh, has transformed the way that I fly, and I think um, Thinking back to when I was flying around in a 152 and wondering what the weather was like on the other end uh, with, a, with an iPad and a, and a weather receiver like that, um, you've got tremendous capability. So I think that's going to be uh, a, a, a hot trend for the next 12 months or so at, at a minimum. So I think looking, at, looking out a few years, uh, one of the things that's uh, a given is that there will be tablets in every, every cockpit. Uh, maybe they're iPad, maybe there's some other flavors of tablet, but they're going to be omnipresent. What I think we'll see uh, apps doing more of in the future, one, is connecting. Two, and whether that's avionics or connecting um, uh, data wirelessly, those are things that we'll be doing more of in the future. And I think apps are going to be uh, more predictive and more anticipatory about what you as a pilot need, uh, maybe based on a variety of things, whether that's incorporating more data that's coming off, the, off of the avionics into the app for analysis, uh, or just being smarter about anticipating what your needs as a pilot are.